Florida has about 900,000 to 1 million beef cows. Most of the uh, commercial cow-calf ranches in Florida are based on a, a cross between Brahmin and a British breed like Angus or Hereford. And the influence of the Brahmin breed uh, provides some very significant advantages. But one of the disadvantages is that the, the Brahmin breed generally uh, matures slowly. I think about 47 years ago, we began breeding heifers as yearlings. And uh, we may be one of the ranches that has been doing it the longest consecutively since then. One of the problems that, uh, that we always had with uh, those heifers when they calved as twos was to be able to get them bred back again. The investment that producers make in a young heifer to grow her until she's a yearling and then get her pregnant and grow her to a two-year-old, all of this is very expensive. And then to lose that because we're unable to get her pregnant as a two or three-year-old is, um, is at a costly disadvantage of the system. About 13 years ago, we began to look at this system that we call early weaning. We're talking about early weaning at the start of the breeding season when most of our calves are around 70 to 90 days of age. And by separating them from the calf, the cow-calf, we're able to elicit estrus in an otherwise anestrous female. And that occurs through two methods. One is what we call the calf withdrawal response, which is a physiological response that causes the female to, to come into heat just because the calf was removed from it. And the other thing is, by weaning that calf early, she stops producing milk. So more of the nutrients that she ingests can be partitioned towards her own growth and conceiving a second time. Using early weaning, they're able to get those cows pregnant sooner in the breeding season so that they calve sooner the next calving season, and then they have more days to get rebred during that next calving season. Not only that, but the calves that they give birth to early in that calving season are now have more days to grow between then and weaning, and so they're larger at weaning and more valuable. It's a solution to one of the um, stumbling blocks that we had breeding heifers as yearlings. And I would encourage others to, to at least try this system because it's been very, uh, very good for us. A lot of things are happening that we didn't expect early on and has made this research grow and I think it's continuing and will continue to, uh, to impact this industry and the producers we serve.